What's up? It's Eric. Thought I'd do another boat video. This is my custom Sonic Wig 36, complete custom job. Uh, this boat's a complete tank. It's been through a lot. The history behind this thing is I had a catastrophic wreck with it uh, where it flipped over and the transom of it slammed into the back of my old boat. It completely cracked the entire transom back here. So I ended up buying another hull and rebuilding another Sonic Wake. And about a year later, I decided to just tear this thing down, reinforce the hull, uh, rebuild the transom, and just turn it into a custom boat, custom electronics. And one thing I did to make this thing look so sleek is I got rid of the seam right there because the uh, stock boat has a, a pretty noticeable seam. It's covered by a big decal. Uh, this thing is painted, so there's no decal there. So what I did is I took some plastic putty and I filled in the seam all the way down on both sides with plastic putty and sanded it out really smooth and then painted it red, uh, primed and painted it. So there's no seam right there, and it makes it a little bit more durable too because I also added epoxy along the seam on the inside of the boat. On this side over here, especially, I got uh, some epoxy running all the way down the seam right there, and also epoxy in the battery tray. Electronics are running Offshore Electrics 150 amp ESC uh, with a Leopard Hobby 4074 1800 kV motor. It's a big block motor for this boat. The stock motor is a 36... Uh, 74 I believe so what I did I had to do is hone out the uh, motor mount with a Dremel right here to uh, fit this 40 millimeter motor in here so it fits perfect and it's got lots of power I got a power HD 20 kilogram waterproof servo to get this ESC mounted in here I just had to uh, screw down some Lexan I used the existing holes where the stock ESC goes and then uh, put down a piece of Lexan and then put some heavy duty industrial strength velcro down to uh, hold this sucker down and hasn't busted loose yet I've had some pretty bad rolls and wrecks with it so so that's uh so that's not going anywhere it does have all upgraded hardware on the back of this boat uh, nice stainless steel turn fins adjustable trim tabs I also added dual cooling onto it instead of getting a dual cooling rudder i just uh added a pickup right here that comes off the keel picks up water and that runs to the motor to keep it nice and cool i mentioned earlier i did destroy the transom on this thing this sucker is rock solid now so what i did is i had to push out because it actually pushed in right here where this seam is completely broke it in right there so i had to uh, pop it back out and then I filled it on the inside with epoxy. I just picked up the boat, let epoxy run, and fill the entire transom. Again, I do plan on incorporating some more boat videos into my content just to change it up a little bit. Actually, boats is uh, what started me in the hobby uh, back in the 90s. I had a Kyosho uh, Viper as my first boat. I used to take that thing to the lake every single weekend. I had a blast with it. All right, guys, got her suited up. Gonna give her a quick rip on the water. Again, we're not going for speed. We're just going for bashing and good temps. Maybe one day we'll prop her up and see what kind of speed we can get out of her. But let's, uh, let's send her. Oh yeah, it runs smooth. I love that Leopard motor, such a smooth running motor. Yeah, it's really hot out and the water temperature is really warm too, so it doesn't cool the electronics as much as it should, but first test of everything it, it ran perfect temperatures were perfect In my opinion, the Pro Boat Sonic Wake is the best just bash boat. I mean, it's self rights it's tough, and you can definitely customize them. And they take quite a bit. Yeah, guys, the best thing about these Sonic Wakes is if they flip in a crash, it's got a water chamber. It fills up and she flips right over so you can send it again all right that big boat just went by to give me some send it waves
Uh. Oh yeah. All right, guys. Let's see if I can multitask and drive two things at one time. <laughs> guys best bash boats A slight cross breeze up that way. Give her a cool down pass. See that dual cooling working? Perfect. <laughs> this thing's a battle axe. All right, guys, that's going to be it for a quick rip of the custom Sonic Wig 36. This thing is just awesome. Handles so well. It's a great boat, even in stock form, but there's so much you can do to them. Oh, that's a nice rig right there. <laughs> that's the ultimate chilling.